Hi, I'm Zoe Lundgren at Scandi Notions, and you found my unboxing of the Oso Gecko Winterbox 2023. Now, Oso Gecko, if you don't already know, make and design sewing patterns for bags and accessories made particularly from cork fabric. There is going to be a pattern called the Quick Errand Crossbody, which Lisa has designed. That's on her website, so you don't have to have this box to know what that is. You can go check that out. There's also, um, what else have we got? She's been collaborating with other designers. I'm one of them, um, and I'll show you my contribution later on. If I remember things about it, I'll tell you as we go along. Ooh, look at this. Oh, goodness, look, this is amazing. <gasps> okay, what have we got? Oh, nice. Oh, pretty, pretty lovely. <gasps> now, I had the first box that came out and there was something really nice in there that my daughter was absolutely, she's only eight, she was absolutely besotted with and I think Lisa might have sent her. Yeah, I think that's for her. <laughs> but look at this. I didn't expect this many rolls. Okay, I'm going to open this one first. Ah, uh, yeah. Now this, oh gosh, what a lovely colour. We had some of this in the first project box. Now, if you're not familiar with that one either, that one had a free pattern called the Chameleon. A really nice bag, putting it on the screen now. And we also had included in that some of this pre-made bag strap. And it's amazing, it's compressed so, so finely. I love this. Oh, yeah. Can you see that that is folded inwards there? And it's all stuck down. It doesn't need anything doing to it. But you could, if you wanted to, run a couple of um, lines of stitches along there, like you would with a handle that you fold in yourself. Ooh, oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. Isn't that lovely? And it's a really decent size. Well, we're off to a really great start. Look at that. It, it feels really soft too. I, I, I like that. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, that you can. I've had lots of different sorts of cork. Very, very thin, like paper kind of cork. It wasn't meant for bag making, but that's the sort that I thought was meant for bag making until I came across the Oso Gecko sewing with cork sewing corner. And um, I started watching a couple of Lisa's lives and some of her videos on YouTube. And I found out that the stuff I was using was just no good for bags. And I learned that the hard way. And you know, that wasn't cheap either, uh, but this, oh, you can just, you, oh, you can just feel the difference. I mean, it's so soft, the drape. Yeah, it's it's just so different to the stuff I was using before. And this is really nice quality. And if I can just show you the thickness, I don't know whether this is really going to show up, but it's, it's quite thick. I'm gonna get you a measurement for this and uh, put it up on the screen because that is quite important when you're sewing with different types of cork to know how this is going to behave in your machine. Okay, Woo! more cork. Oh yeah, oh look, that's it's little elephants. Make sure I've got that in shot there for you. Cork does start to feel a little bit different when you start layering ink on there. So you would expect it to be quite dry and cracked, but that's so nice. You can still see that there's a lot of drape on there and you can still give it some treatment and it's still fine. Mmm, great. Lovely, lovely, but I want more, I want more. We can never have enough cork. I'm really building up my stash now. So difficult to find good hardware all in one place and this box is, is a great way to do that because um, usually Lisa spends a lot of time put it, making sure that you can coordinate these this hardware across the projects that you've chosen or will choose to do. Oh wow, look at those! Oh, look at those, aren't they amazing? 
like those and they're massive so substantial amazing they're not hollow or anything they are solid oh pretty 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 i love this oh yeah no that is amazing look at the pretty birdies mm, i do like a little bird on a pastel background don't ask me why it just sings to me i <laughs> see what i did there okay oh another big one oh now this is going to be a dark one because the backing's dark black <gasps> and look at the depth of the black that's brilliant and the flex as well a black so you don't have to compromise on the style of whatever you were going for because, you know, with a silver or gold fleck or the rainbow fleck that you usually see is a black, like satin black flecks in a black cork. Oh, that's oh, so classic. I love that. You do a million things with that. Oh, and it will look great with these. Oh, what's this? Is this little aloe plants on <laughs> zip pulls? Isn't that beautiful? So, so far we've got one, two, three of the smaller pieces of fabric, which are coming out at about, what did we say, 19 by 14 inches. And then there is still two of the big pieces, which are coming out roughly 19 by 26 inches. And look how much we've still got left to undo. That's just the cork. I'm not even, I haven't even considered the hardware just yet. Okay, now I think this is, yeah, it's another strap. Brilliant. It's in a different colour and it's a different width. Ah, oh, yes. So we've got one that is an inch and then one that is three quarters of an inch right so here we go oh yes look at these oh this is brilliant look at these strap connectors aren't they great i love these oh and they're not really cheap sort but usually when i do this with it my thumb gets stuck in here and it pulls all the skin off my thumb and it's like wrestling with rubbish hardware but these are lovely really like that finish and i knew that we'd be coordinating <laughs> i was also going to say that it's very difficult from my perspective in sweden anyway to find three quarter inch um bag hardware i don't know why it just is but look at this not only do we have three quarter of an inch hardware we also have three quarter of an inch ready-made strap look at that we'll just do a line of stitching across here or put a rivet in there oh beautiful and that would be amazing on a crossbody the quick errand crossbody is included the pattern for this is included in this that's the pattern from Oso Gecko um, I was involved in the testing process of that um, you can look at my Instagram and you'll see um, my version there with cute little pandas and that's all in cork as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Looky here, we've got some zips, some zip tape. Yep, brilliant. Oh, look at this. Not only do we have the standard, I think it's quite standard in bag making, the um, one and a quarter inch wide number five. It's called number five because it is five millimetres across the zip and here we have a number three so called because it's three millimeters across the uh, teeth of the zip here or the coil the nylon coil whichever yeah look at these these are beautiful colors oh these feel like more zips <laughs> oh brilliant look you can't go wrong with this color can you with a bit of black oh and i love this also look at that yeah we're coordinating here brilliant now, I just want to mention, obviously, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Please, please, please. It really helps me keep going, especially when I'm buying boxes like this to show you. Also, I need to tell you that included as part of this box is a private Facebook group where Lisa will go, ooh, where Lisa will give you um, a masterclass 
and everything to do with cork. It's also a live session, so if you've got questions you need answering, she's there to do that for you. So many people, look at it, there's still loads to go. Oh, oh, so winter wonderful. Look at this. Oh, so we've got the gecko sticker. It's Lisa's trademark. She always puts the gecko stickers in. And look at this. She had um, cork fabric uh, labels made for the last box and again for this box. And here, cork fabric. That's a really great thing to have um, sewn onto your bag because in my experience, every time I make a bag of cork and I take it out and in conversation I say I've made it, they don't believe that it's made of cork and they get really interested. Um, so when you see a label with cork fabric on a bag, I think it's a really big talking point. It has been for me anyway. If you want to show off your talents a little bit. Oh, I love that colour. Oh, I'm all about that colour. When I've finished opening everything, I'll put it all together so you can see how everything coordinates when I've laid it all out. Whoa, that's a lovely colour. Oh yeah, great. Okay, and I wonder, here's my one inch. They're one inch. Usually when you have hardware for an inch wide strap, they're usually massive things and they, they can look really awkward on a bag. Yeah, nice. And again, we've got a really lovely coordination going on here. Oh, it's going towards the end again. It's the part I don't like, the end. Oh, brilliant. Look at this. We've got some little snaps here, some magnetic snaps for your bag. And again, coordinating with the antique brushed brass. And looky here, just noticed the different sizes. Again, a lovely collection of these beautiful little blue bags. Gosh, this must have taken ages to wrap. So nicely wrapped too. Oh, oh yeah, look, that's lovely. What about the way that, can we see those? Oh, well, I'm glad I got some of these. That, and of course that will look really nice with the little birdie fabric that I liked so much. Yeah, look, beautiful. Oh. Nice, nice. So for straps that I make for myself out of this beautiful cork, there is one and a quarter, I think these ones are, one and a quarter inch. Yeah, one and a quarter inches. Very nice. This is the best bit where I can see it all together. To recap, we have one, two, three, four printed cork fabrics. Beautiful, lovely accent pieces. And I love that Lisa's thought about this because she's given us two large pieces of the fabrics that will go with anything and really pull these together, these printed fabrics. The hardware, can't believe how much hardware we've got. There's a zip colour here for everybody, for everybody's preference, whatever you'd put with this. Would you put green with this, blue with this, black with this? It fits, it works. I've been looking at these as I've been laying them out and I'm hard pushed to find my favourite. I love that we've got two different sizes of pre-made, pre-made people, straps. Who doesn't love that? These are going to be great for pouches, wristlets, little crossbodies, the small projects. But look how many things you get to make all those small projects with. I think it's a really good value for money box, even without all the extra bits and the discounts and the free patterns. Um, check those out. Check out the websites. I'm pretty sure that Lisa's going to be doing more of these boxes in the future. If you do want to be notified, the best way to do that is probably to go over to her website, osogecko.com, and just sign up for her newsletter and she, she lets everybody know that they're available because they're pre-order only. They are slightly more if you don't order them on pre-order. So if you've missed out on those, hopefully you'll be in time for the next one. Now I haven't forgotten I said that I would show you my contribution to that box. Mine is for the people who have the box. Uh, they get a coupon for a free Cura pouch that I designed. That comes in 
three different sizes. Here is the small. I wasn't kidding. I love little birds on a pale background. It's made with cork and it is lined with cotton. Nothing else, there's no stabiliser on any of this, not even the inside. Of course you can put it in, totally up to you. And I've designed this pouch so that it has the seam at the back of the pouch so that it can go on, it can sit on a shelf and you have no seam in the way of any pattern that you wanted or a panel that you wanted to have there. Also, you have the option to have a see-through tab window, so you can actually put in and remove any tags or labels that you want to put in there, so you can have that on your shelf, and then you can see what's inside it if you keep changing it over and over.